Yo, what up guys, we're back with another Dokkan Battle commentary, and there is some drama on our hands. So Global Dokkan has its 9th anniversary right now, and Omatsu jump scared us in the recent Dokkan now with his English abilities. Hi to everyone all around the world. Which, I mean, fair play to him, it was pretty good. Of course, there was only one piece of information that many people were interested in, and that was on the Dokkan sync. And they said, it's gonna begin in August. I feel like that couldn't have gone worse, especially on Twitter. With the amount of memes that have been made, it's just hilarious. So at the moment, we're currently missing Tanabata Goku Ultra Instinct, the Part 2 banner as well, LR Cell Max, and Dokkan Festival Topo, as well as the July 30th Dokkan Festival. So that's about five or six different units. We don't know when they're releasing. We don't know if they're going to implement that into the 9th anniversary. If they do, it will be quite crowded, I will say. So not really sure what their plan is. About three or four different banners away with five or six different units. It's not looking great. Now they did say it was going to start in August with the worldwide campaign, but I don't know. I, I don't. I I'm not confident. I'm just going to say that. And I don't think there's any word on units that need to be adjusted. Like for instance, Super Kaioken Goku. Because if you recall, there were differences between Global and JP for that unit. To be honest, I think the only reason there's so much coping on Twitter is because of the amount of people that really wanted every single unit to drop before the 9th anniversary or during it. And since there's no confirmation on what's going to happen during the 9th anniversary, yeah, they're just mad. Originally, I was going to make this video before the Dokkan now, but I got lazy and also I just thought... Let's just wait to see what they say before making any opinions. I think I made the right call there. Because I was originally of the opinion that the sync shouldn't even happen if they can't coordinate it properly, or if as a result of this sync, both versions suffer. Let me play a clip. Picture this for me. In one hand, a realm of possibilities and excitement for incoming celebrations. You don't know what you're gonna get. And on the other hand, a bunch of broken puzzle pieces struggling to be pieced together. That's literally the best description I can give you right now. That's the difference between the versions. Look, at the end of all this, I just want both versions to prosper. I don't want there to be any negative side effects as a result of the sync. But it's getting harder and harder to be so confident when they're pulling off stuff like this. In an ideal world, they would have synced the versions long before this point. They had multiple opportunities to do so, and they didn't. Because I think at one point they were closer together than even right now. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Check out my Discord server and my Twitter in the description below. And have a good one.